coming up in this week's episode of our Life with Wild. Grabbing the eggs. Family chores. Family chores. Excuse me, Reginald. You want to help me with these, bud? <coughs> no? One, two, three, four. Who is dusty in here? What's that? It's dusty in here. Uh, I cracked the window. What was I at? Seven? What do you got, Big Bertha? Ugh. Damn bird. She looks so fluffy. But she's so skinny. Is she skinny? <laughs> yeah, she's not very big. Just yeah, because she's not going and eating. Nine. Nine eggs. A couple days worth of eggs. 20 or so eggs. Just can't beat that. We're gonna transition. We're about two weeks from delivery. The aunties are going to get more feed and then the kids are going to cut back on feed. So we cut back on feed. It's gonna be a transition. So we're gonna increase back to a heaping scoop. A heaping scoop of each? Yeah. I'll give it a little bit of barley just because it's lighter. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Woo! Oh, you're gonna be happy about this, guys. Make sure you close that gate. They will find an open gate. So excited for snacks. Can't resist that grain sound. Who? Any of these buggers. No. <laughs> they hear me in the yard and they're like, it's time. Oh yeah. Feed those babies. I'm so excited for babies. I already have a list of names. Yes. Should I try and get ready to go in her house? That might be a real battle. Reg! Reggie, come! Take care! House! House! Reggie, house! Come on! Come on, Reg! House! Come on, Reggie, come. Come. Come on. Come. Come on, Reggie. In the house. Come on. Go. Reggie, come. Go. Go. Come. Come on. In the house. Stay. You stay. Ah, house. House. Day. Boy, George, come on. This is better not even to try and get George to do it because it just pisses me off. Come on, George. Just stay there. Woohoo! Got that. <laughs> our wheel barrel is not. Our, our wheel barrel sucks for this. A big double wheeled one would be nice. That's on my list. They were just $70 off at U of A. We should be watching uh, Princess Otto as well. Reggie, come! Good girl! The gate! Let's go! Good 
Babe, you lost half of it. Usually do. I'll grab it after. At least I made it halfway. Babe, get. There's one, babe. That was a good scoop. I'm done in there. You can close that one. Okay. I was like, ah. Uh... <laughs> Come on, are you scared of the camera? <laughs> So the reason I make little piles, and I do a different pile every day, is so they're not heating on top of where they're defecating, but also so that they're spreading their fertilization across. Because this paddock was really dry when we started and depleted. So having them in here is really gonna be good for what's able to grow. I'm excited for growing season already. Me too. What are you doing in there, Phil? Did I look so good on the camera? That sucks. That's another reason why I can't trust Reggie in here with them is because instead of the sheep just walking away, yeah. some of them have a go at him. Yeah. This is not actually for you. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice and cozy. Yes, yes, oh yes, oh yes. Yeah. Your mother pose. Yes, pose. Yes, Karen, yeah. yes, get him. Get him, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to eat shit in peace, aren't you? Wow, you're disgusting. Oh, yes. They're so gross. They're so gross. Look. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it scared me. It scared me. The noise. Well, now the last is dirty. Is there snacks? Can I have those snacks? George. Oh, oh. Yes? I was just have a paw. Catch those mice, Carl. Whoa! Speed demon. 
Agnes. Oh, it's because Hustle chased her out of there. Hustle's being a witch. Let's see if she's going to create. Being a sassy tart. Sometimes she creates drama. You guys coming? You lot? Come on. Yes, she can. Let her out. Let her go. Everyone's coming out. I'm closing this up. Why aren't we bringing water? We don't back? need the sass. You can drop that right away. Oh, Reggie. What? She just had Bon in between her legs and was not letting him get out. She wants to torture him. Leave him. Reg. You're such out, a please. pest. Uh, Get. open sesame. Push it out. Actually pull it in and we'll leave it in so that I can back the truck in here easily. Can you guide me in there so I'm, that we can set the pails right on my tailgate? Let me know if that's good. What? We're filling buckets. No more? How come? Oh, because our goddamn underground water line froze somewhere. Or broke somewhere. I'm, I'm not actually sure. I feel like if it's broken, we would have water because it's been nice enough. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it froze. It froze in minus 40 and we didn't address it. And we think it froze above ground initially. And then by the time we unthought it, it was already frozen below ground. Yeah. Most likely. And so now we're just waiting for warm enough weather. What has been the hardest part in becoming a homesteader? <sighs> Buying animals with zero infrastructure. <laughs> that seems self-inflicted. I feel like it's gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. We got through the hard shit. Yeah. What has been your favorite part? My favorite part? Yeah. Raising our, all our own food, for sure. That's been the best, being able to eat uh, not only our meat, but our a lot of our vegetables, uh, even until now. It's like the end of February, and I've bought maybe $20 worth of vegetables since July, $30 tops. So, it's pretty great pretty fortunate to be able to do that. And our diet is still very diverse, probably more diverse than it was. Yeah. We were finding things at the grocery store weren't tasting the way we liked them to taste or we wanted them to taste. And so we were feeling discouraged from, or yeah, discouraged from buying certain products. And now we grow more things than we ever would have access to and they're better for us than they've ever been. Food these days has lost a large portion of its nutritional value. And by growing your own food, it's a lot of work, but you're drastically going to improve your health and your life in a short period of time because your body's gonna be able to cleanse for the first time. And for some people, it's whole life. Yeah, I was watching this thing on uh, YouTube. It was about <coughs> McDonald's and how their food's made now in comparison to 20, 25 years ago, like when we were kids. And it used to be just French fries, beef tallow, and salt. But they quit using beef tallow because it's more expensive, obviously, because it's a far superior product. But uh, they went to a mixture of different kind of types of seed oils and a couple other things. I can't remember all the ingredients, but... And seasonings and to then seasonings make it taste it. like beef towel. Beef towel, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah, and so many additives, it's just nothing is what it was anymore. Yeah. Good. Oh.
Yeah, that's how it goes. It's good, I needed to clean the coyote blood off of the box of the truck. Perfect, filled for next time. Uh, that one's filled, so. We're good for like six days. I need you to open that gate a little more. Let's see though. What do you got there, Reg? Thank you. Squeeze, Goldie, squeeze. <laughs> Dump all of them in, as many as I need to. Way too much. I don't think so. I saw. Be good. Oh, babe. What a 